Pipeliner CRM's Navigator feature is your morning coffee screen. It shows you to-dos for today, your missed activities, installed opportunities, but also it suggests new potential business and lets you know if you are right on track. You can visually divide Navigator into four sections. The first is Target Overview. You see here your goal for a given period of time and how you are doing against it using five different methods of calculation. For instance, Weighted shows the sum of my opportunity values, calculated by the pipeline sales stage probability weighting. Ranked takes opportunity value and adds it to the target calculated by its ranking percent. Balanced combines ranked and weighted. It calculates expected value by both ranking and sales stage probability. Unweighted just adds up all opportunities values together. And one uses just the values of already won opportunities. Then, in this chart, you can see when your goal is going to be met. It shows you from the time from today to the end of your target period. It always begins with today and extends into the future. These lines are modeled by opportunity due dates and their values. So here is this straight horizontal line. There is no opportunity with a due date to add to the value. But here, a few opportunities have due dates. That provides us with quite a value jump. It simply shows you when some opportunity values are going to be added based on their due dates. For that reason, you will never see this line going down. Slider will also snap from one opportunity to another, so you can see exactly where your due dates are. Click, and you will see all your opportunity details. The next section is the activity stream. It is a stream of days with tasks to finish, opportunities to close or move to the next stage. You can also see indicators such as task priority and opportunity rankings and labels. Click them and you access their further details. The third section contains notifications and suggestions. Notifications primarily reveals overdue tasks, opportunities with missed closing date and stalled opportunities. You can also check out your five largest opportunities, all clickable for further details. Suggestions scans your process and records for hidden opportunities. It will reveal things like leads that are idle longer than your average leads, opportunities that are ready to be moved, or accounts with successful business some time ago but that have not been contacted in a long time. Again, all clickable. At the bottom, there is a fourth section, which is really just a summary of your business. It shows you open opportunities, the sum of their values, the sum of one opportunity values, and sum of lost opportunity values. And lastly, you have this power panel button. Here, you can change what pipeline navigator will use and choose what team roles you want to see records of. You can also filter records so navigator will use only records from a particular owner or sales unit. You have a target filter where you can change the target settings, such as goal, target period, and what will be calculated in the target. Instead of value, you can calculate your target by any field you have in your opportunity form, including custom ones. For example, you might want to see the number of licenses instead of value, or product ship to prepare your upcoming deals with a shipping contractor. If you get decimals, don't freak out. For example, Ranked Target still calculates those fields by ranking percent. Just switch your target to Unweighted and you are all set. Save the settings in Power Panel as a profile, name it, and then you can access them using this small Expand button here. Then again in the Power Panel, you can also share your profile. Make it private so only you can access it from the Expand button. Public will make it available to all Pipeliner users. And lastly, with Custom, you can specify who specifically can have access to your profile. And that is it. Click here to sign up for a free trial or check our video library to learn more about Pipeliner CRM.